Freddie, was tonight about a time or was tonight about kind of putting on a show? Well, uh, it's always about a time. I mean, we don't swim like only to win or to get a, a spot in, into the race. We always swim for the for the time. So tonight was about getting the time, but also getting my hand in, in the world first. Um, and also, tonight was also about making a statement as far well as being a good swimmer. Not because of any technology help, but just because of me and the way I've been training and the way, the way my coaches have been training me. Yeah, I gotta ask, man, what did you do to Craig Lord? <laughs> I'm serious, <laughs> dude. It's completely un unreasonable and unfair and out of line. What, I mean, what did you do to the guy? If I only knew, but I mean, <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to, to ask him for, for a meeting, just a one-on-one -on -one conversation in an empty room with no one and, you know, watching. I just want five minutes with the guy and uh, trying try to understand his point of view and uh, trying to explain my way and, uh, you know, maybe we work things out. But so far, I mean, he's been very upset with me. Yeah. How was that fuel for today? I mean, today's article is just ridiculous. I yeah, mean, it, uh, it definitely helped me a lot. I, actually, I have to say that I read his, uh, his article, I mean, if you can call that an article, yeah. online today before taking a nap. And well, uh, thanks to you, Greg Lord, I didn't take a nap at all, but it definitely got me pumped up and motivated. Even though I didn't really want to swim the 100 today, just because of the way I've been feeling very tired. Um, and all the pressure around it too. I mean, everybody has been talking about, hey, that's going to be the duel between Michael Phelps and, and, and Fred Bousquet. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Actually, I almost had more pressure in 100 today than I did at Nationals. So I wasn't too crazy about that. But after reading his article and reading what he had to say, I mean, definitely got me pumped up. And I, I got my teammates pumped up. I mean, we saw a great George Gobel in the B final, which would have been a great swim in the A final. Brett was very excited about us racing, very angry, and we, we used that anger for, uh, I mean, to go faster. Yeah. Was that pressure carrying over to the waiting room? Like, what was the ready room like with those guys back there? Uh, we actually didn't go into the waiting room just because of the weather today. It's been very cold uh, over there, so we stayed on deck. Um, I can tell you one thing. Uh, to compare it with the uh, waiting room before the 103 at Nationals, uh, it was a lot more tense here than at Nationals. Wow. At Nationals, everybody was just, uh, hey, good luck, or having a smile, and nah, let's go for it and stuff. Right there, you got, oh, well, Michael is a pretty like, inside out guy, so he has his um, headphones. headphones on, yeah. sorry. And uh, his bodyguard is right next to him, so it's kind of intimidating. But overall, it's just 103 in Charlotte. I mean, not taking anything away from the meet, it's a great meet, but it's only a, a Grand Prix meet. Yeah. Know? So it has to be kind of somehow relaxed. You know? Even though you said there was hype and there was that pressure and the almost intimidation in the ready room, was there ever any doubt that this was your race tonight? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, I'm, I mean, totally different guy before 50 and before 100. Uh, before 50, I'm very territorial. I, uh, I assume the 50 is my home, my house. I assume this is my race, so I get very, uh, yeah, very territorial. I, I want it to be mine. A hundred, I get pretty nervous. I get scared of the pain as well. I get, uh, I think a lot about the strategy going on. Am I gonna take it fast as fast as I can, or hold it back a little bit to come back a little bit faster? I mean, I think about all this way. So. Going into tonight final, I just I was hoping for a good time. I was hoping to, to win it, but I, I was I wasn't being very confident about winning it. That's for sure. Well, at what point did you say I got this? Well, I think at, at when I passed 75, uh, going into the last 25, I I. I I, tr I was trying to look on the side. My breathing was on the left side, so on Michael Phelps' side. I was trying to look, but not trying to get off my stroke too much, so I wasn't um, gonna mess it. But um, and I didn't really see him or any splashes around, so I was like, okay, I, I might get that one. But stay focused, stay focused. I mean, you're racing Michael Phelps. You never know if you're gonna win until you touch the wall, yeah. or if you're gonna lose, actually. So. Yeah. yeah. But you knew when you touched the wall that yeah. you were going to do it. So was that a finish, a statement? Because you threw up that number one on the finish as a statement? Uh, as a statement, more to, uh, to make people understand that um, not only it was me that won, but it was more of an Auburn guy that won the 100. And uh, I mean, the Sprint House is, is in Auburn. I mean, uh, it can be the smallest town in Alabama, I mean, the last town in Alabama, but we still have the best winning program in, in the world. 
So 50 and 100, no matter where we swim it, we always get it. So that was number one for Auburn. Good stuff. Hey, congratulations on a great weekend. Uh, looking forward, there's a little preview, guys, but we're going to be down in Auburn, flow swimming in Auburn this week, seeing what this guy's doing in the pool, proving that it takes it's the work that he's putting in every freaking day. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, looking well, forward I'm to not that, taking man. a week off or anything like that. I'm going to be back in the water tomorrow afternoon. So. All right, man. Well, I'll see you this week. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks, Freddie.